Hello there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for March. I hope you are doing great. Let's see what we got going on for you. Any messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising? All right, let's uh, let's kick it. How about that? Okay, lovely. Water flight. Heaviness lifts, burdens are cast away, and weightlessness is your first card. So this is after a very long period of stress and uh, having just a lot on your mind, feeling a little bit uplifted, relieving, releasing a lot of stress. Uh, many of you may be needing to do some water cleansing, bath water cleansing, anything that can kind of like, yeah, oh my God. Oh my God, I fucking love this. Look at that, the bath comes through. I mean like, all right. Uh, sanctuary, privacy, inviolate personal space, respected boundaries and taboo. So this is really saying like, get into that water tub and just cleanse away all the negativity all right take some time off for yourself go to a spa or um, just do some healing work uh, cleansing work this is definitely going to help you to enter the new kind of like the new era right like the the, the eastern energy is coming through of doing like a deep cleansing for yourself and i fucking love it uh, air, breathing deep, I do see you also doing this with someone that you love or maybe in the near future because this is also like a bubbly under the water kissing. So there is a lot of, um, yeah, this is a good start of your reading is what I feel. Let's go a little bit deeper into the issue. I do also see that some people have been trying to cross your boundaries and that you really needed to tell them like, no, I need some time for myself or no, this is not what I want in life. Um, I feel like some people may have been trying to test you, test your boundaries, test your limits. And this is your time to say like, not today, okay? Not today, buddy. I'm going to do what I want to do. And for some of you, it's very needed to close yourself off just a little bit from, from some people that have been trying to cross your boundaries here. Okay, too many cards wanted to pop up. What else? Solitude, okay, we're just going in one line. There's just one message that wanted to come out. Okay, I mean, feels like I'm going to repeat myself, but hey, it says solitude, sanctuary, privacy, uh, this is the hermit so again doing a lot of reflections exactly look at that you got fertility which is the empress and the two of cups look at you guys it looks like for some of you i keep i keep on seeing like the spiritual union coming through right but then again you do need some time to reflect you do need some time to um, get back to your own energy here i do see that either you are already dealing with someone and you need that privacy together or after a long period of being alone uh, you're finally going to meet this spiritual partner we're going to see what comes through here which one is for you let's see what are the messages with the tarot please spirit It's kind of like you needing to recharge, especially with that fertility empress card. Taking care of yourself, your body, your mind, mind, body, and spirit here, and understanding your own value and what you put out and not allowing anyone to take away of your own energy, all right? You have like this shining, shining, big green heart here like well obviously the heart is not green but it's the heart chakra that is green so you radiate some type of light and in order to keep on radiating that light you do need some time to recover and to do some type of balancing within your chakras and you will start to notice that a lot of people are going to notice your your shining you know okay there are a lot of cards popping up Okay, this is a whole storyline. What is this about? Okay, let's start. 
Seven of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. Then we have the Two of Cups, the Four of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups, Page of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. So that's a very up and down type of energy here. What is going on? What is going on here? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Lover's card. Let me just tune in here. It looks like you've been in a situation that was ending and then restarting, ending and restarting. It's like you feel a very deep connection with this individual, like like no other. However, there are just a lot of things that happened here in the near future in the near past that really got you upset. Um, I feel like you're still not quite 100% sure whether you want to take this person's offer or not because they definitely did hurt you in the past. However, your heart keeps on telling you like, yes, but you do love them. So I feel like you've been a little bit in, in this limbo as in like, okay, should I give them another chance or not? Uh, this person may be ghosting you and then they come back around acting like nothing happens they ghost you and then they come back around um try to kind of like up like um, pick up the conversation and i feel like you're a little bit confused emotionally like does this person truly love me or not um we did have like a very tough past but is it still going to work out or did we already gone through too much for this situation to recover. I feel like you're very confused uh, about where you stand right now with this uh, particular person. Let's see what this person wants from you. King of Wands. And a Hermit. That could mean that this person is allowing you the time to think about your actions. Right, that's what I see with this uh, King of Wands and the Hermit. If that is what they want from you, it's like reflect on your own um, actions or the things that you have done. I feel like I feel like they've been giving you that space to think about th these things. Right. I feel like they want you to be sure whether you want to proceed with them or not. Page of Cups. What do they want with you? What's their intentions here? What are their intentions? They want to take it slow with you. Okay? They want to take it um, step by step. Slowly. One day at a time. Uh, and maybe you have been wanting it too, too quickly. Right? Like, you just like, they're like, okay, listen. This is what is going to be. Are we going to be together or not? Uh, for... For some people, they may have felt like one person is being too pushy on the relationship and that they need to take a step back and reflect, is this the true relationship that, that you want or not? Uh, because this person wants to take it step by step, slowly get to know one another. But one person here wanted everything way too fast, way too quickly. And this is bringing a lot of confusion for the both of you because you both have a different style of expressing love towards one another. Um, let's see one more. What's the outcome here? Yeah, temperance. So taking it slowly, you know, building things up slowly. The temperance card is all about like, you know, mending things and putting things in balance, tempering the energies, taking what is negative and turning it into positive. So there is definitely a need to go with the flow and they want you probably to go with the flow. I mean, it could definitely be also the other way around. Just take it however that resonates for you. But there is definitely a need to take things step by step and to go slow. So I feel like maybe you thought that waiting for this person or waiting for their 
for a yes or no for the relationship was already like a big betrayal to you. You're like, this should go in the flow. Like you should have already known by now that you want me or not. And this person is like, take it slow. That's why they grant you this time. Like, hey, it will all get better, but just with time. Wow. What else is going on here for Taurus? Yeah. Again, we have that release, surrender and purge. So surrendering to the timing of this connection and when it's coming together, not getting fixated on like, okay, if you don't tell me your answer by now or you don't respond to me by now, then it's over. That type of energy could be, you know, turning into some type of a bad karma right? Like if this person is not replying on your timeline, for example, then it's time for you to just release it and allow it to come to you whenever it is supposed to. So there is definitely a need for you to do a deep cleansing here to release and surrender to the divine timing in this connection rather than trying to push things forward, right? And maybe you're not even pushing, right? Like, but this is just what is coming through. So if you're not pushing and you're already in that energy, that's just a confirmation that you are on the right track. So this is only for those who have not been on that energy just yet, right? Uh, there is going to be a uh, renewal, all right? Your person might be definitely trying to stabilize themselves and going, going with the flow is their way of being in a relationship everything needs to go with the flow without no rules well there could be some rules but not like um it needs to be done in this timeline type of rules right so yeah there is going to be definitely a renewal but also i feel like this period where you go into your sanctuary and solitude energy is going to have that renewing spark within yourself that is going to be visible for the other person as well and they're going to see like hey Taurus has been doing the job the Taurus has been doing the inner work and that is going to be attracting them back to you your own light let's see with uh, with these ones so really the overall energy that I am picking up here is going with the flow surrendering to what is You got wishing with obedience. What is this about? I mean, this feels like, again, kind of like trying to make some rules as in like, if this does not happen by now, then, then I'm done with it. And I feel like that is the energy that you should probably avoid is what I am getting. What is this talking about? Wow. Okay, this is so weird. Look at this. The Ten of Cups with the wishing card, wanting that um, happy ending, wanting that happy relationship, emotional fulfillment. But then there is still this heartbreak that is kind of like getting in between. There is something deeper beneath the issue that needs to be resolved. But because it's underneath the obedience card, it means that the universe is deciding when that is going to happen. Everyone has like their own timeline when it comes to their own healing process. So it's almost like one person is completely healed and wanting to be in that ecstasy stage of the relationship while the other person is kind of like in that I'm still healing process and it's kind of like not really you know it's not balancing it's like needing to give the other person the time and energy to work some type of a heartbreak through before they can give you also what you need yeah the world reverse there is something from the past that keeps on resurfacing and it hasn't completed yet. It hasn't healed yet. It hasn't been forgiven yet. And that's why things are going very slow in this uh, situation. Knight of Pentacles reversed. There could be also someone that does not want to heal here or does not know how to heal.
What is this talking about? Yeah, the Six of Cups, which is again talking about the past, unfinished chapters. Keep on repeating the same heartbreak over and over again. And then the King of Pentacles could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Someone may have been in some type of divorce that is just not, like, that is still pending. They are not able to get out of this divorce. Things are at a standstill. Which could obviously bring up a lot of frustration for the other person if you're the other one that is waiting for them to get this divorce. Okay, there's a lot going on, like, oh my god, what on earth is this? We got gossip, victim, and gratitude. Gossip, victim, and gratitude, my god. Okay, this gossip energy uh, could be coming from a family member or someone that is um, within the family and wanting them to make some type of decision here. There is a lot of gossiping going on within the family unit of this person. And I feel like this person feels like the victim uh, or their family is kind of like... making them make some type of choice um, and because of that they may be torn between which direction to go that's what i'm getting through here i'm sorry this is a very complicated storyline like seriously just please let me know if this resonates and how this resonates for you all War zone, ego at play. Yeah, there could be a controlling family member here that has been trying to influence their decisions when it comes to love. Uh, this has turned into some type of um, ego war between your person and this family member. And I feel like they don't want anyone to control anything right now, right? Because they've been in this controlling family members energy they don't want anyone to tell them what to do or when they need to do anything so that could have been one of the reasons that this person is just behaving quite coldish towards you if they are uh, because they are trying to go through the lesson of not trying to be controlled by anyone else when it comes to their own decisions in life and i feel like that's that's a healthy choice um, it's it's very deep so until you kind of like understand and realize where this is really coming from you will also understand their behavior and their reactions to what you are saying right <coughs> we also have lord ganesh overcoming obstacles and morning affirmations have an attitude of gratitude so this is for you know that you will overcome any obstacle in your life also financial obstacles. I see that some for some of you, you may have been struggling with getting your finances or getting over some type of a obstacle when it comes to your finances. Um, you're being asked to do a lot of morning affirmations when it comes to this, like things in the nature of like, I am abundant, I am successful, I am grateful for the abundance that is coming to me. This will definitely help you in some type of way as well to overcome any type of these financial obstacles. Yeah, you have the four of swords when it comes to your finances. For some of you, you are feeling quite overwhelmed. You need a lot of rest. Uh, you need to take a break when it comes to stressing about your uh, financial situation. 
Yeah, you have a lot of fears here. With the moon and the high priestess, there are definitely a lot of fears. You may be feeling like mm, you can't trust your... Uh, your partners or you can't trust the people that you work with you have a lot of doubt when it comes to what their intentions are and i feel like it's time for you to open up about these doubts because the more that you keep it inside the more awkward you will make things so it's better to be quite direct and open about your fears uh, when it comes to your trust to your colleagues or towards your boss or whatever than to keep it all inside of you okay that's what I have for you for now, Taurus. I really hope that this reading makes sense. It's going to be important for you to let me know because it was quite a heavy one. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Don't, drop, uh, don't forget to drop a like. And if you are interested in the extended, the link is in the description box below. And I'll catch you there. Take care.